Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today, I'm going to introduce the main concept of the test automation approach and the test project structure designed to achieve this approach. Number one, to save time on the test execution, tests must run in parallel, so they must be as independent as possible. Number two, tests must be executed in CI CD pipeline to make them efficient. Number three, test report must be generated and shared within stakeholders. Number four, test code must be easy to read and reuse. Number five, test projects should not be universal and run all possible tests at once. It is much better to have different CI CD pipelines for different test types. To achieve the approach, we have to install a few more libraries to our project and think how to manage them. Let's create a pyproject.toml file. It is a modern way to manage Python project settings and dependencies. Let's add the already installed dependencies and a few more. PyTest Playwright makes it easier to start using Playwright by simplifying configuration and call of Playwright web browser. PyTest xdist makes it possible to execute tests in parallel. Python.env allows to define environmental variables in a file. It makes test creation and debug easier. Also, we can add here project name and description, version, authors, as well as PyTest specific options like default console arguments for a test run. The list of arguments can be found in the PyTest documentation or by calling PyTest H command. Next file is readme.md. I highly recommend you add guidelines about how to configure and run the project. Useful tips and tricks. Check this out. Console commands are highlighted and we can run them right here. Let's install newly added dependencies. The .env file is used to keep environment variables and used by python.env library. We will add values here later. The tests folder will contain all tests and the page objects folders will contain page objects. We are going to use page object pattern to make tests easy to read and reuse. The .gitignore file will contain the list of files and folders we do not need to save. Like this generated build and egg info folders. Let's save everything we have created to the git. Type git init in the terminal. Open the Git tab and review the list of files to be kept. Add a comment and click the Commit button to save changes locally. If you have a repository to upload your code, push your committed changes to store them. In the next episode, I will present PyTest basic features, and we will write our first tests. Hit the subscribe button to not miss it. Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.